How can copper sulfate be used in the flotation process to separate gold from iron? And what are the necessary steps and precise preparations to ensure the best result? Thank you for this excellent question. Ore preparation. Crushing and grinding. The ore is crushed into small pieces and then ground into a very fine powder, usually around 100 microns, to facilitate the separation of minerals classification. The materials are classified using sieves or hydrocyclone classifiers to ensure that all particles are of the correct size for flotation. Preparation of the flotation cell. The ground ore is added to the flotation cell filled with water, which is a device containing a motor or mixer that continuously agitates the mixture. Adding copper sulfate. Copper sulfate acts as an activator, improving the surface properties of gold particles, which increases their ability to bind with the collecting agents used later. Copper sulfate is added at an appropriate concentration, typically between 10 to 50 grams per ton of ore, depending on its composition. The amount is adjusted based on the gold content and the type of or present. After adding copper sulfate, a collector substance, usually potassium xanthate or sodium ethyl xanthate, is added to make the gold particles hydrophobic and air-loving, which helps them attach to air bubbles. Adding depressants. To keep iron and unwanted minerals away, depressants like kaolin or gum arabic are added. Adding frothers. Frothers like methyl isobutyl carbonyl, MIBC, are added to create small, stable bubbles. The bubbles attach to gold particles and float them to the top of the flotation cell, forming a froth layer that contains the gold. Froth collection. The froth containing gold particles is removed from the cell surface and then dried to obtain the gold. After collecting the froth, additional cleaning processes can be performed to improve the gold recovery rate. Disposal of tailings. Iron and other impurities are left at the bottom of the cell and can be disposed of or used in further processing as needed. Summary. This process relies heavily on the appropriate concentrations of each chemical and the precise adjustment of pH in the flotation cell, which is typically set using lime to achieve an optimal pH between 8 and 10.